Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this video, we will see how to use spaces in Bluebeam Review 21. Let's see how you can do so. After opening Review 21 on your desktop, go to the Spaces panel. In the Spaces panel, click the Add Space option from the top. Now to make a rectangular selection, simply click and drag to draw a rectangle. Once you release the click, a dialog box will appear, asking you to give your space a name. Click OK once you are done. Now, let's create another non-rectangular space by clicking to mark anchor points matching your selection. Now, give this space a name. Click OK. Now go back to the Spaces panel, and you will find the spaces you created listed below under the file label where you applied these spaces. From the Highlight Spaces option at the top, you can disable the visibility of your spaces to avoid distraction while working on your drawing and turn them visible anytime. To select your spaces, simply click their labels in the Spaces panel. Right-click on your desired space to access Edit Options. You have multiple options to edit your spaces. Click Rename to change the name of your space. Let's do the same for the second one. To create a snapshot of the drawing region where you made a space, right-click on your space and hit the Snapshot option from the menu. Then, press Ctrl plus V keys to paste the snapshot. You can now resize and edit your snapshot like any other Bluebeam markup. The markups list will also show your snapshot, which is listed as a markup below. Click to select the snapshot and press the Delete key and it will be deleted. Let's create an area from our second space on a selected rectangular drawing region. Right-click and select the Create Area Measurement option from the menu. And your selected space will create an area measurement for that region. Let's disable space visibility for a moment to see area measurement. Click and drag the area label while holding the Shift key to reposition it on a clear region and avoid overlap with the drawing content. Now go to the Measurement panel and select your area measurement. It will start showing all the editable area measurement properties, just like it does for any measurement created directly on a PDF. You can change the unit of your area measurement to match your requirements. You can delete your spaces from the Spaces panel or by pressing the Delete key after selecting them. If you delete the space we used to create an area, your area measurement will still exist. And it will keep showing its data on the markups list. This is it for today. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics, your go-to partner for all things Bluebeam, digitizing construction since 2003.